Hello, everyone. This is Lee Call 3. I'm here with my partner, James Proctor. James, how are you doing today? Hey, Lee. How are you doing? Yeah, so I've been hearing some things like, uh, where's Lee? Why hasn't he said anything about uh, all this whole thing going on? Uh, I don't know, because I'm scared. I'm afraid. I'm nervous. James? <laughs> no, I mean, hey, people are going to say what they want, but... You know, it was good. I had a lot going on this week with with work. It's kind of nice to recharge a little bit, but we did put out stuff. Well, I've been sick all week, and as you know, I've been sick, and that's mm -hmm. I'll just keep that private. But I'm feeling a little bit better today. And the name of this show is uh, One Week Later uh, is an apology and order from Lee Cole. Well, let me tell you, people around here to have very uh, minimal shows. A lot of you guys with little shows. Every one of you has been talking about this. Uh, Jeff Nadeau, uh has made statements that um, uh, this has brought, brought life to this genre. Same with uh, R.J. Roger have brought life to this genre. So um, this genre needed a little life. And if it's at my uh, behalf that a bunch of people are going to jump on me because I uh, confronted a scumbag like Sammy Gravano, and they want to sell their souls and uh, defend Sammy Gravano, uh, the child killer. They can do so, James. Hey, you you have the you have done to apologize for. Well, and and I'm gonna make this very clear: there was would not be no apology. Period. And let me tell you something. <laughs> Here's what I do regret: I regret when I pulled up on Sammy that he started talking, and then his little uh, little punk son. Uh, took a swipe at me when I wasn't looking, okay? That's the type of people you we're dealing with here with the Gravanos. Uh, but the people that are out here now that have not done any views on their shows, and they're getting views now because they're talking about this, I want to say I'm glad that I can help you guys. And you know certain shows that you know who you are. So if you need this to keep going and build your little show up, you use this 63-year-old man, Okay. We wanted you guys like to try to laugh at. None of you guys would have had the balls to do what I did. None of you. Is. you all you're doing is talking. You're behind a, gun, uh, a bunch of keyboard warriors talking tough. And then when someone does something and it's like, oh, wow, we don't like it. What are you going to do? You're going to attack me. You're going to attack Angel. And it's on a regular basis now. But that's OK. You guys can do it. Uh, James, what would you like yeah. to say in this matter? Yeah, a couple of things on that. One, um, there was nothing surprised us. We talked about all of this before uh, this this happened. We knew that it was a possibility it could happen. But, you know, one thing I wanted to point out is that um, we are uh, credentialed journalists. We're credentialed. We have in... Um, you can laugh at or whatever, but the, but besides that, what the point is, is that nothing that you did was illegal. You were on a public property. Uh, Sammy actually, and his son actually came out onto the public property from their place. Uh, you, you did not go up to their, uh, door. You did not go inside. You didn't do any of that. They came out, and Sammy was actually answering the question. And and then, you know, you got, um, you know, blindsided. You know, he came from the side, you know. So, I mean, I mean, nothing was illegal on that. It wasn't stalking. You know, I've heard some pretty crazy stuff about it. And so, um, you know, we we got what we got from it. And, you know, we have more stuff that's uh, relevant to this it's just happened we wanted to get this out you know since it did happen and it, it, this helps with the kickoff of our site uh, of our our website why don't you talk to, about the kickoff of our website which is going to be up very shortly yeah so it's a gravano crime family.com right now it's just a redirect so you can go there you could sign up um and you know, we'll be putting um, content up. And, and what we mean by that is that we look at court documents. We look at, we're doing deep research onto this, something that it's investigative research. It's not, um, 
you know, just um, going to Wikipedia or saying, you know, this stuff is going into court thousands of pages. We're, you know, we're looking at some Freedom of Information Act um, stuff. There's still some things that haven't been released. Uh, there's a lot that that's involved with the um, with the money that's uh, being, um, you know, illegally, possibly illegally um, hidden. And, and there's a lot of stuff. And so I'm not going to, you know, throw everything out there but you know this is something that will take a while you know we'll be putting up stuff we'll be putting uh content up but you know you'll be able to see these documents court documents all of that stuff so you know this is not just some sort of uh just uh, a way to um you know it's not just us talking on a show we're you know we want to provide proof and the deep research yes and and, and you know that's the thing. There's a lot of stuff going on now. Stuff that we're not even talking about stuff in Sammy's past. Stuff that people have not investigated that we right. found information on that we're going to talk about. And uh, for you people that say, oh, we're ratting out Sammy, so be it. We're, ra we're ratting out the king rat. You damn yeah. straight we are. And here's the thing. All you guys out here doing shows, go ahead and do them. Just make sure you keep my name out there. That's all I ask of you. <laughs> because you're not going to get any response from this show at all, because we're just going to keep on growing. Uh, so how much damage is this show? How much damage has our visit to Sammy Gravano done to the growth of our show, James? Oh, my gosh. It's been the opposite. I mean, it's just crazy the amount of, of growth. We, we've have um, over, I don't know, 50, 60,000 on the three you know on a one video and well, two shorts let me put, let me, let me yeah. put it up james let yeah. me put it up let me let me put up facts okay here's the damage it's done to our show and here's the damage that uh you guys coming at us think you're doing but you're not okay if you look at these views right here 16,000 29,000 19,000 14,000 17,000 yesterday we didn't even put a video up 22,000 we're going to average 700 subs this month. This show is growing quickly. We're about to, so, so if people think that we did something that's going to damage this show, you're wrong. We did something that's going to help this show. The people coming on here right now, writing the little comments and stuff are either people from Sammy's show or people from this genre that just don't like me or they just don't like Angel Gotti. That's what it comes down to people. But this is what it's all about right here. And uh, you may not like that, but it's the fact. And um, <clears throat> we're going to continue doing what we're doing. And uh, if you want to put a, a comment down below, as long as you do it decent, we'll leave it there. Sure. But I will take down any nasty ass comments like a lot of you cowards are doing. Uh, but you guys with the shows out here, you know, the, you guys that used to get 20, that can't get 20 people on live. You know, now you're getting over a thousand on a video. You're like, wow, over a thousand on a video because of not because of what you guys are doing, because you're using somebody else's show to get that. James. Yeah. And a, a couple of things on that is that, you know, the number of of it's just like dozens of remixes. So I guess there's people taking what what we put out and and remixing it whatever that means putting it i guess like clips maybe who knows but um you know that's one thing and so yeah i mean you've got a lot of shows uh benefiting uh from this and something that i was going to mention too is that we never put it out there we uh, if you remember lee before um you had went out there we'd actually record a show about the direction that we were taking with the show and and because of everything you know we didn't actually release that so we we're talking about that we're focusing on you know real mob content we're focused on deep research we're focused on um you know kind of staying out of a lot of the you know the the genre you know kind of the bashing and all that and you haven't bashed anyone on this this is the first oh, we'll time let we... them do the bashing. Yeah. we'll let them do the bashing right now, this this old man can handle the bashing right and so the point was is that you know we 
we already had a sh we had already planned on putting something out about the direction of the show and all that and and we kind of had this thing with sammy happen and so um you know we're now talking about it okay and and let's say okay so we got informants in here right we have lots of informants now mm -hmm. okay so out of all these informants that we have let's let's talk about what the difference is between sammy gravano and let's say dominic Ciccali. Mikey Scars, uh, his new buddy there that he'll screw mm -hmm. over, Rogario. Yeah. Let's talk, and it, these two guys right here, Jimmy Calandra, these are all people that that thought they were going to work with him and have been screwed over. And this guy right here, he's fa he's phasing himself away from Sammy. But, but let's talk about something. What did Sammy Sammy do that none of these other guys did? These informants that they murdered people, some of them killed people. But what did Sammy do that none of these other guys did, James? Well, I want to talk, say two things. One is um, a 16-year-old kid, and, and second is a brother-in-law, where documents are still sealed on on the details on that. Okay, and, and what else? Oh, my gosh, 19, 19 murders, killing... Um, you know, killing his business partners. Um, what else is different? You've got a guy that uh, is on here that's making the victim. He's he's um, you know criticizing his victims. He you don't see you know the glamorization uh, from Mikey Scars or or Michael Francis or Dominic Sakali, but he glamorizes that. And all and I see that his biggest shows are the ones where he talks about the murders and even the one on on alan kaiser you should look at just the title of the show saying that you know basically you know it was expletives you know and so the guy doesn't care and so uh, i mean we could go on and on i mean he's he's uh 10 times worse in my opinion than any of these other guys and let me ask you a question did dominic Chicali uh kill a business partner no no he did okay. not did Mikey Scars kill a business partner? No, he did not. Do you know if uh, either uh, Jimmy Calandra or um, John A. Light killed a business partner? No. Okay, how about uh, Michael Francis? Did they kill their business partners? No. Okay. Okay, now all, something that these guys all have in common is they're all informants. But one of them is the devil. One of them is the lowest life of form, a form of scum that you can have on here. Okay. And uh, his son is at the same level of being a low life scumbag. And um, just because of what he did, uh, because he didn't like his father being filmed. People said that he was protecting his father from what? What was he protecting his father from, James? Yeah, you were in the car, right? You weren't you yeah. did not you weren't aggressive at all, you know, and Sam his father wasn't upset, didn't seem upset. And nope. what was he protecting? And you were in your car, your property, uh, you were not on their property. They came out and walked towards the car. So, you know, uh, and I know how Arizona is, you could have you had the right to defend yourself. See, people don't understand. When I went there, I wasn't expecting Sammy to be outside. It just turned out that way. Right. Exactly. And then you had this other idiot. Then you had this other idiot. This other idiot going, "Oh, uh, the the footage isn't the it, it, uh, they played with the video, or it's fake, or it was a setup." You're a moron, dude. You know that, and uh, a setup. Uh, we could easily show you six hours of the phone sitting on the back seat if you want <laughs> you know we actually have that it took us forever to download you moron but anyway uh a lot of these people too casting all these stones and stuff they should be careful because they have a lot of stuff that uh, uh oh and and i want to say something that what i removed at the beginning of the of the tape of the video and so because we all i wanted to focus it in on on what what happened and so uh the first 15 to 20 seconds was you driving you were in your car it was showing you driving in the car in the parking lot and it and you had seen sammy you had pulled into that parking lot because it looked like you saw him from the 
you know, from the road uh, yeah. on the bench. And so you turned and then um, you and then you you pulled in front of the building and then you you rolled down the window and you said, hey, Sammy. And so the thing was, is that you wouldn't have even pulled in if you didn't see him outside. I mean, I didn't show that part because I I I will I can do that. You know, I will show that part, but you know, people think, oh, you were just stalking him, staking him out. No, it wasn't like that at all. It's just dumb. And even if I was sitting there waiting for Sammy, so what? It wasn't illegal. Okay, you for know. you people, for you people that that pretend that you yeah, hashtag Alan Kaiser, and then you're and then you're uh, defending Sammy Gavano and his uh, wayward son. Uh, Shame on you guys. Take that hashtag and take it off your thing and shove it up your ass because you guys don't deserve to have that hashtag, uh, Alan Kaiser, because when the time came to it, you guys did not defend Alan Kaiser whatsoever. You decided that you hated the guy that did it so much that you would turn on him and forsake Alan Kaiser. So you're a bunch of frauds of what you are. You know what's interesting in this, uh, what I'm seeing from a lot of people is that, so we have certain we have a value set or we have certain certain things that we do not like. We will take up those causes. We will be part of those causes. But you see people that will say that they're behind a cause. But then if they don't like the person that is actually doing something, then they're going to attack, attack that person. And then, uh, you know, then what ha What about the cause that they were supposedly so uh, passionate about? They're not passionate about it. It's more important that they want to attack a person who's actually doing something. It's like, oh, hi, Joy. How you doing? Oh, hashtag Alan Kaiser. You mean those people? Those frauds? Those frauds? Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And so, you know, we, and like I said, you guys can attack this show all you want. You're not going to get any responses. You know why? Because we don't need to respond to you. You guys do nothing for this show. Okay, we build this show. And maybe instead of attacking people that are building their show correctly, you guys need to learn how to build your shows correctly. Good point. <laughs> okay. Uh I was waiting for James to say something there. He was a day. Oh late. yeah, no, I was saying good point. I mean, it's just a good point. So, okay, so so you know, uh, Mikey Scars has been bashing Sammy Gravano now and telling you what an evil piece of dirt he is. Uh, now Dominic Chicali's got burnt by him and is telling you how, what an evil piece of dirt he is. Uh, and 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 so somebody does it that you don't like. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. It is amazing to me, you know. So, it, but it, but you know, yep. And we'll continue doing what we're doing. There's no apologies in line for nobody. Okay. No. The only apology is that uh, Sammy Gravano should apologize for even being on the face of this earth. Uh, his son should apologize for supporting the horrible deeds his father did, and to sit there making money off the horrible murders. And the horrible uh, uh, betrayals of friends, uh, the friends that he murdered and killed. That's what, uh, well, that's what Jar Jared should do, Gerard, whatever the fuck his name is. That's what Gerard should do. Instead of acting like, don't film my father, only I can get paid for filming him. <laughs> well, and even, even the daughter's the same way. You know, the daughter is um, a lot of criticism about, you know, how she, you know, how she's doing has done the same thing through the years it's just that you know it's it's embarrassing the way that their kids are you know they're oh well, yeah she goes on and humiliates herself on mtv with her daughter humiliates her daughter and uh all off the name of her father and saying her father's an innocent guy he was just a gangster tell that to the people that he murdered to take over their businesses the people that he trusted or his partners or are the or are his crew he murdered three of the six members in his crew. Yeah, exactly. And he was and he was building up a crime family there, uh, a, a crime family in Arizona with and all of his family members were involved in it. His his wife or so-called divorce wife, which 
there's a story behind that we're going in to eventually. And then there's also um, the son, Gerard, uh, the the daughter, Deborah. There was, I'm sorry, the, the daughter of, of, of Sammy Karen. And then you had, uh, you know, the in-laws, you know, Seabrooks involved. So, I mean, the whole family was involved. And do you remember this? Do you remember, and do you remember when Sammy started talking about this thing right here with Anthony Graziano, uh, yeah. uh, uh, talking about this guy being involved in a murder that he knew? Do you, did, did, did anybody forget about that? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Okay, Anthony Graziano had the balls. He's sitting in prison now because he had the balls, unlike Sammy, to take his sentence. And then what does he do? Sammy's out there saying, talking about another murder that Graziano uh, uh, ordered. Yeah, exactly. Think- and, you know, the guy's out. And, and that's, so are you trying to get him uh, pinned up? So, you know, there's, there's some issues there because the daughter, you know, you have Karen Gravano, but also, you know, the Graziano's, you had the... Um, the mob wives thing, you know, the, you know, Renee Graciano and the Jennifer. And so there was some bad blood there. So Sammy uh, wants to use his platform to get back at people. This is what Sammy did to his daughter right here. That's it. Mm-hmm. See that? That's a mug shot from when they were dealing drugs. That's her right there. That's the real Carol Gavano, not the one all made up with all the makeup and everything. That's the one that was, along with the son and stuff, they were all involved in that drug dealing in Arizona. Uh, and, the, and, and to this day, they're, 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 they went back to the same place where they did their uh, drug dealing uh, empire, let's say. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, we'll have some nice interviews of people involved in that, just so you do know. And uh, you'll, hear, you'll hear the truth instead of all this BS that Sammy Gravano puts out there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, people, I just like to say uh, that's all we're going to say on this. So please subscribe, hit the like button, the reminder bell, just to know we're going to come on again. I don't even want any money from you. Okay, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. And also join Angel Gotti and my father's daughter, Patreon. We're going to be putting some per- some stuff on this also on Patreon that we're not going to release out to the public. And so uh, and once again, that's uh, Angel Gotti, my father's uh, daughter. It's a Patreon. The link will be lo- below this video. And uh, thank you all. James, is there anything else you'd like to say before we leave? Because you've been part of getting this <laughs> brutalization of I hate Lee Cole also. Yeah, no, we're going to – I'm looking forward to, uh, on Sunday. We will be uh, releasing uh, our next uh, edition of – of gangster or prankster so um it's going to be interesting yes we're gonna and it's not going to be sammy gavano it's going to be somebody new right yeah another guy that just can't keep his mouth shut around here yep exactly so yeah we're continuing with content and you know and not it's not just going to be sammy gravano but um you know we we just um appreciate everyone that is uh supporting us i mean it's been a great turnout this week Yes, and for you guys not supporting us, as long as you uh, uh, watch this, view this, uh, and, and say something underneath, we appreciate it because that helps us. Yes, Take it does. Take care, people. Thank you so much. Bye.